Take me out to California Take me out to California Hi everyone, so for those of you who are parents in the UK right now it is the summer holidays and we are coming to the end of the holidays and for a lot of you it is now getting to the point where you can't think of anything else to do with the children other than spend more money and yeah the kids are like what are we doing next mom what are we doing next what are we doing next what are we doing next mom what are we doing next what are we doing next what are we doing next what are we doing next, what are we doing next? i'm not actually going to complain because my kids have been in newcastle for a week without me and it, weirdly you think you're going to do like loads of stuff um no no not really not a massive amount but it has been very relaxing but i want to share with you some things that we do that don't cost money at all if you don't want them to you can you can spend a little money if you want to but they don't cost anything and they can be really fun and keep your kids very very entertained throughout the day before i go any further i just wanted to note that in my last video i spoke about uh, the experts that we have in the channel mom forum and i just wanted to share that with you again because i know that there's so many moms and dads out there that sometimes feel a little bit lost and alone and do you know what we're doing well none of us know i don't know what i'm doing do you i've got no idea so i wanted to share the link below and in the channel mom forum you can ask questions you can talk about motherhood you can comment on stuff but we have in there some proper actual experts that can talk to you whether it's about mental health stuff or whether it's physical stuff or breastfeeding or any kind of parenting questions we've got some awesome experts in there so you can chat to them and they will get back to you if they haven't got the answers they will get back to you and then there's other mums in there as well who will share their own advice and it's just a really great community where you can connect with other mum so i'll pop the link below so my first thing that you should do with your children is we do pirate day Ahoy, me hearties! on this channel you will have seen and i will link below we did a pirate day now this is something we do periodically we do do pirate days you don't have to do the full day but if you fancy going do you know what i'm gonna spend a day being a good parent i'm gonna do the thing i'm gonna be a really great mom or dad it is a good fun day and it's nice actually sometimes to let go of the other stuff and the jobs and just go forget the wash and forget anything else today i'm just gonna really mom or dad and on pirate day we had lots of different games with the themed days there's always some kind of hunt kids love it don't know why they just like some kind of hunt you can do them yourself or i'm going to try and pop i'm going to put a link below to one that i've already prepared because you can print it off and this is one that i just put together i think there was 10 was there 10 no there's more there's 12 clues and you put them all throughout the house they have to go and find things sometimes with them at the we did one at easter so in each different clue i put a little prize at each clue don't have to do that it could just be the, the clue and then at the end there's some kind of prize and it doesn't have to be anything massive it could be some biscuits you know it could be just something silly so with the pirate prize what i like to do again it's not it's cost effective you probably got it in the house anyway but i get some foil and i make them into little bits of little like money or jewels or whatever i usually stick in a lot of my necklaces just because it looks like treasure and um i wrap up bits of biscuit or sweets the last time i did it sometimes i'll do it where it's um you know i actually go and get some sweets or a little prize but last time i did it i didn't have anything so i had like just chopped up bourbon biscuits they're just as happy because it was wrapped in foil and it was exciting opening it so you don't have to spend loads of money on it but that's the treasure and um, so that you've got to obviously put that somewhere where you know somewhere they can find it um thankfully i had like a toy box which was the treasure box that was ace if you've got older kids that can do it themselves just a little parenting tip make the clues hard and spread out that means they will be occupied for longer also make the clues and this is just if you're going to especially if you're going to do a full day make the clues mean that they've you kind of use it to get them to eat their breakfast lunch and dinner so i will usually make lunchtime again very pirate themed so i'll do a pirate shaped uh, sandwich like a boat shaped sandwich and one of the clues can be underneath the plate so they've got to finish their food nice see what i did there it's all about this with children trying to get them through and again things like you know the clue could be 
put on your pajamas and get to bed you know like it could be that you could really drag it out for the whole day if you want to and get them to do things that the pirate says they've got to do we have pirate music i usually have kind of pirate games that we can play whatever it could be it could be you know it could be musical statues or something but somehow you make it pirate related i don't know pirate costumes again just find just use things that you've got in the house my girls will stick on like a black t-shirt of mine that makes them a pirate face painting i like doing face painting because it's effective they think it's really exciting yes that's an investment or for pirate day you really can just use a black eyeliner so girls you've probably got that anyway draw a little moustache on draw an eye patch you don't have to buy face paints but i would probably invest in face paints because it saves you money when you go to the fair or something like that where you know there's going to be another expense for you to go and spend three quid per child or more on face painting if you go and prepare you do their faces first and then they don't ask you for that so it's worth investing and it's not you don't have to be an expert in face painting there's plenty of tutorials on youtube and pinterest and you don't have to be amazing at drawing do the basic ones i did things like um and you can print out a template or you could just get a marker pen and draw a flag where they have to design their own flag i got a big piece of old um and an old bed sheet that was going to go in the bin cut it up and then we got some paints out and they could design their own flag it was actually quite a nice day when we started as you'll see if you watch the pirate video it ended up being rainy and the flags got rained on but it doesn't matter so we'll do a hunt we'll do some kind of games i might do a pirate word search i stapled some pieces of paper together into a book form and i said girls you've got to make your own book if they're old enough to do that they could do that they could do some kind of competition so they've got to both draw or all how many you've got i've got two obviously that's why i'm saying both but both kids could draw um pirate themed pictures and then you have to pick a winner pirate dancing if you go onto spotify there's loads of pirate songs on there who knew um pirate themed food and um, fish fingers you know pirates like fish apparently this is what i've learned um you know fish and chips for tea that's pirate food you can make pirate food whatever you want your children to eat if you need pirate food to be broccoli then that's what pirates eat and that's what you make it about i would suggest on any themed days doing a schedule so the kids know what's happening throughout the day plus it keeps you on track and it stops them going when can we do this there's a time when you're going to do that because what i found this time is my kids were trying to rush through everything and um yeah without the schedule we'd have done it in about an hour so the day wouldn't have been spread out but you can put anything that you want in there and use the things that you have in your house already so i had a cardboard box that was in the skip outside my house i dragged it in painted it black granted i went a little bit wild and did um paint a lot of stuff with skull and crossbones on it and stuff you don't have to go that far but yeah there's lots of stuff that you can do print pictures out when they come down for breakfast maybe there's like foil money everywhere and a pirate day themed sign um something like that. they just get excited also tell them in advance that it's going to be a pirate day because just or any of the themed days because they get excited about that and it makes the day seem more exciting again none of this costs a massive amount of money it's just a little bit of imagination i also my kids did a pirate show for me my kids like doing shows so i said well you put together a pirate show so they did that and again that takes time so you get a little bit of a breather in between probably to clear up mess because that's what we do in between um children have fun we just tight yeah we'll try and get cups of tea but reality is that's probably not going to happen we do fairy day so again same kind of thing face paint themed games oh and also come up with pirate names or fairy names you can find these online but it is quite good fun to just make them up yourself and maybe pop them all in a hat and you have to pick out what your name is going to be and mums and dads you do have to join in this stuff and i do i want to put out there that you should have face paint on as well and be dressed like a pirate or a fairy we're lucky where we live because there's a park where some mums have put little fairy doors in the park really sweet but you could just go for a walk in the park and you know pretend to look for fairies and mums you have to just go oh, did you hear that noise i heard a jingling and the kids are like oh, so did i and they love it there's lots of games that you can do it's the same as the pirate day just make it fairy themed go on pinterest there's loads of fairy games or pirate games that you could do um fairy stories and the same with pirates pirate stories again or you could make them up together fairy one fairy 
theme days are quite nice because they're quite i guess you could be a bit out, outdoorsy with them as well look for fairies in the woods and that kind of thing in the park fairy days largely there's a lot of glitter involved so you got to kind of commit to the glitter on that one the next thing that i would impart on you as something fun to do is scavenger hunts i've done a video on this before again with a link to an already pre-prepared scavenger hunt scavenger hunt is just having a list of things that you have to find now i live in the city so i do an urban scavenger hunt that is you walking around your local area can you find a blue door can you find a ginger cat can you find a gray car it can be anything the list is long make it as long as you want for how long you want the scavenger hunt to last and um it's a nice way to get out into your local area and just go for a walk and get outside kids love it they love ticking it off and doing their thing that way you can also again do that in the park or if it's chucking it down outside you can do an indoor scavenger hunt and that could be like find uh something red find an orange pen find a white hair bobble and whatever just the list is long and then they can spend their time looking around the house while again you have a cup of tea and a biscuit that's what i'd like to be doing while they're looking for things it's probably not going to happen i'm probably going to be sweeping up crumbs of some sort or putting away toys or things that they've had out earlier because that's what really happens but these are all ideas things that we do and I like the ones where we get outdoors and the more that I can do that, it tires them out, gives them fresh air and their kids' imaginations are amazing. So you've kind of got to just, you know, leave your adult at the door and just be a child. But there's loads you can do and they don't have to cost money. It's just about telling stories, about imagination. And actually, do you know what? The biggest thing for those days is that the kids get my time. And because I've said, look, today is going to be this day, you know, on Saturday we are doing this day. They know that I'm committing to time with them because it's hard as parents. We are constantly pulled different ways, doing different things, especially if you're like me and you work for yourself or you work from home. You are always trying to find time to do your work. So it is nice to go, right, switch off, no social media or no whatever, no people in today. It's just going to be us as a family. Um, and the kids love that. So if you do a scavenger hunt or a pirate day or a fairy day, I would love to see your pictures, your videos. So link them up to me. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm on here. Comment, share your stuff with me because I really would love to see it because it's fun and I get messages off people who did the scavenger hunt or they've done their own pirate day and they've had an ace time and that's what I would like you to do and make sure that if you want to check out the channel mum forum that you do that the link is below and they, they again the other mum vloggers in there have some fab ideas for things to do during the holidays good luck parents we're nearly there they're nearly back at school we love them but it, it's time for them to go back now isn't it seriously okay see you all soon take me out to camp.